chapter four looks at working with single parent and blended families. Each of these families may be a little bit different, and these are just generalizations based on patterns that have been observed in research. So again, every family dynamic may be a bit different, um, but these are some of the concepts and facets related to single parent and blended families. Some of the learning objectives include comparing and contrasting single parent and blended families, processing different differences and similarities, especially in the challenges faced by these types of families, discussing the strengths of these families, and discussing ways of working with single parent and blended families. Single parent families are those headed by a sole pa parent responsible for taking care of herself or himself and a child or children. Those created as a result of divorce, death, abandonment, unwed pregnancy, imprisonment, adoption, and uncontrollable circumstances such as a military assignment. In the 1950s, the percentage of single parent families created by divorce began to exceed those created by death. Single parent family statistics. By 1970, about one in family in 10 was headed by a single parent. Currently, more than half, half a million children are born to unpartnered parents each year. Currently, the percentage of single parent households created by children born to unpartnered parents has surpassed those created by divorce. The number of single parent families in the U.S. has remained statistically unchanged for almost two decades. In 2016, there were approximately 12 million single parents working with children, making up 30% of households with children. Of, the, of these, approximately 10 million of these parents were single mothers and 2 million were single fathers. Types of single parent families, they may be created through divorce, death, choice, or temporary circumstances. Approximately 1 million divorces each year in the United States. One in five adults has been divorced. Subunits created, except in the case of joint custody, custody such as custodial parents and non-custodial parents. Issues of single parenthood following divorce, the resolution of the loss of marriage, which can be an extreme experience of grief, the acceptance of new roles and responsibilities, the renegotiation and redefinement of relationships with family and friends, the establishment of a satisfactory arrangement with one's former spouse, and the potential economic strain that this can cause. Single parenthood is a result of death. There are some major tasks that occur, including the reestablishment of the surviving parent's life, the restructuring of family, Family development may involve three stages, mourning stage, the readjustment stage, and the renewal and accomplishment stage. But again, this may be a different time frame for each family and it can present its own challenges depending. Single parenthood by choice. This may occur in the following three ways. Purposefulness in conceiving a child out of wedlock, deciding to carry a child to term after accidentally becoming pregnant out of wedlock, adopting a child as a single adult. It's unique in that this type of single parent family is that the custodial parent and the mother-father interactive system have time to prepare before the child arrives. Understanding is clear that there will usually not be other support outside of the parent's resources. Single parent is a result of temporary circumstances. This could occur because of military deployment, job change. This usually lasts from a few weeks to potentially several years, and it may create stress due to its suddenness and often seriousness of the situation. Strengths of single parent families. They tend to be more democratic than most family types. There are often flexibilities in roles and that could include gender roles. It could be related to finances and economics, the pace at which members go through developmental stages and the creativity in locating and utilizing needed materials for their overall well-being, including various resources. Challenges of single parent families. Defining or refining boundaries and roles. Achieving educational success may be more challenging because of specific uh, barriers that are there. Establishing a clear and strong identity and relating to others of the opposite gender, um, or we could just say, you know, different, different genders. Uh, poverty, the expression of feelings and not getting hooked emotionally to the past. Um, so sometimes this can be a challenge. Approaches for working with single parent families. Um, as we said, prevention approaches may work on couple rela relationships, premarital counseling and things connected to traumatic separation, educational and behavioral approaches that were mentioned previously. The role of the therapist, recognizing the social, psychological, and economic uniqueness, laying aside personal biases. Process and outcome, four improvements that single parent families experience through successful family therapy, increase in confidence and competence in self, developing clear and functional boundaries, making informed decisions regarding remarriage, and tapping into community resources more effectively as well as making use of their own resources. Blended families consist of two adults and step, adoptive, or foster children. By the beginning of the 21st century, one million of the two million marriages in, US, in the U.S. each year involved at least one formerly married person. 
most commonly formed when a person whose previous marriage ended at death, divorce, or abandonment marries either another previously married person or someone who has never been married. Common concerns of blended families include entering the new relationship, conceptualizing and planning new marriage and family, remarrying and reconstituting family. Structural distinctions of blended families, a biological parent elsewhere, a relationship in the family between an adult and at least one child that predates the present family structure, at least one child who is a member of more than one household, a parent who is not legally related to at least one, one child, a couple that begins other than simply as a dyad, and a complex extended family network, um, sometimes referred to as quasi or quasi-kin. Why people divorce? There are lots of reasons why couples divorce. Um, there are just a few listed here. There can definitely be others, um, but extramarital affairs and conflicting role expe expectations, um, people who oftentimes have difficulties in trying to solve marital problems. Here it says a husband's unwillingness, but I think it's just any person in a relationship that has difficulty compromising or listening actively to a partner, um, different types of quarreling or hostility, poor communication. Here again, this resource from 1994 mentions a wife, but it could be anybody in a marital relationship, um, not just a husband or wife. Um, Strengths of blended families, diverse life experiences and coping strategies, can and quasi can networks, which can be a great strength, creativity and innovativeness, appreciation and respect for differences, and making the most of situations. Common challenges of blended families include the loss of an important member, the establishment of a hierarchy or new hierarchy, boundary difficulties, resolving feelings, um, and economic issues. Approaches for treating blended families include providing guidance on retaining old loyalties, focusing on parental involvement, providing education, and assisting in the creation of family traditions and rituals. The role of the therapist with blended families include working with families on complicated issues such as separation, custody, and sometimes death, being aware of developmental dilemmas that may arise within a newly formed family, concentrating on fostering a strong and healthy parental coalition, Special attention must be given to the children of blended families. Must work the, with the family in arranging predictable and mutually satisfactory arrangements between former parents and their child or children if the family is formed as the result of divorce. Work to help parents form strong and healthy parental coalitions. Must focus on external and internal factors that affect the family. The process and outcome with blended families, supporting the new parent and sibling subunits, facilitating the development of tolerance for each other, helping family members to find their place in the new family as it is currently constituted, fostering new traditions, and helping family members examine their ability to discuss roles, boundaries, shared identity, diverse expectations, and feelings associated with themselves and the family. So again, these are just some considerations for single parent and blended families.